Since everything really has been said already, I'm not going to bother to repeat it again. But I think we've got the, the, the beginnings of what is the next step for CDF, which is to look at the multi-stakeholder cooperative. And I'm hoping that we can gather some of the minds that are here today to, to help us in at least the first uh, work that we're going to do to conceptualize what we're going to do with the multi-stakeholder model. We really think we have some good partners, we think we have some good opportunity, and we know the time is ripe. It's just the matter of, of taking what we know about the home care cooperative model that exists and then looking at those new applications for it. So we've got a, a number of different places that we're going to be able to do that over the next uh, months, I guess. Uh, we'll have this record of what we did today for a lot of other audiences that are very interested. Uh, Lania LaVega and I will go next month down to the National Cooperative Health Network's annual conference and we'll, we'll basically talk to them about home care cooperatives and introduce the notion there of the multi-stakeholder as well, since I think, as you've heard today, that may be where our partners are for the first test that we do of this. And I think this is a really, really good opportunity. Um, we're putting new things on, we have a new CDF website that'll be up within the month. Uh, that's where we'll have now a new senior resource center that will be part of our website, where we're going to talk about what we've done, but we're also gonna talk about what others are doing and, and have links to that, so hopefully we can keep this kind of conversation going there as well. Um, we have two, two additional training things that I want to mention because they are part of this whole parcel. Uh, part of our, re our, our goal was to reach new audiences here in Washington of people who didn't know as much about co-ops as we did, but also might be interested in working with us into the future. And so today, that's, that's our outreach. Leah Neal and I are working on her direct care workforce group to uh, work with them with Tracy Dzinski and others uh, some other panel members who are here today too. We're going to do work, a workshop or two and webinars with the direct care workforce to give them more, those members who work in a lot of institutional as well as, as home settings, give them a better idea of what it is that's different about working in a home care cooperative versus working for a direct care uh, institutional setting. And then our third audience for education and training are the professional cooperative developers who are already around the country, Diane Gassaway's colleagues around the country, who are doing all sorts of cooperative development, but none of them doing home care cooperative development the way Diane has been doing it. And so we're having a, a workshop for that group too, to help them understand what's different about a home care co-op than the other kind of co-ops that they've been developing. And, and bring in some other people who know the, the direct care world and also the, the long-term care world like Robin Stone and Leah Neela to expose them to some of what you've gotten here today too. So hopefully out of all that, we create not only more demand, but we create a workforce of, of cooperative developers who are ready to receive and, and be able to take it to more than just the couple good and bad successes that we've had so far. So that's part of what our long-term plan is. I would also say that, that home care cooperative is only one of many things that CDF is really focused on. About five, six years ago when the Mutual Service Cooperative Fund came to CDF, it gave us the opportunity to set a focus on trying to meet the needs of seniors in rural communities.